Wow, I'm glad I got home today. It actually wasn't supposed to get here till tomorrow. But my Starlink is here. That is pretty cool. I'm gonna tell you what, hopefully it don't storm too bad and I'll get this thing up later this afternoon. See how it works. Show you my speeds now compared to what these are going to be. Hey everybody, Dino here. A little rundown right quick. Last of February, I figured I'd go ahead and put in for Starlink. Cost $100 to sign up for it. Just like if you want to buy Tesla, you uh, charge you $100 at the time of you getting it, you can cancel it, and all you have is $100. So I picked up Starlink. i uh, done the $100 deal in the February and never thought I would get it because it looks like to me, everybody that's been showing anything about Starlink was up north. I'm in north, but I'm in North Carolina. So last week, they said, ah, you have been approved for the beta test. You owe X amount. I went ahead and paid it. I said, well, it'll be a couple, three weeks before it gets here. It wasn't a couple, three weeks. I got it within a week. And a little bit about it, about me, where we're at, we were actually in the corner to where nobody will ever run cable here. I'll show you in a minute how far it is from my house right now. I think it's like 12 power poles. And I called the power company and they're like, well, it'll cost you $10,000 for us to run it because we have to run it online. I don't understand why I sat there and watched one guy run that those miles by himself with one ladder one person anyway so i said no, i just can't do that so i started using a i tried uh exceed i tried huge net i tried them all man the, the speed's terrible I'm, yeah, they are so I, right now i have a little box like a hot spot and it cost me a hundred it actually cost me five hundred dollars to get i think and then a hundred dollars a month and it had a data limit of 200 gigabytes and every month i'd be stopped now it's 250 i'm still about stopped because it shouldn't i actually use it for my to watch tv stuff like that so I'm like, I just can't deal with that. So Starlink come in. Let, let me back up a little further. My wife's mother lives just a half a mile from us. And we're in that same little, little area. And it's three houses here. So if you go up to her house, and I think it's like 10 power poles up, to where they have cable, and it goes the other way. But that same thing, $10,000. Let me go back to my side. My side here, I actually called and said, hey, why don't you run it, you know, two more houses? They're like, well, you're not a Liberty zip code. I'm like, really? Two houses and then it's gonna cost me $10,000? I said, no, I don't think so. So like say for the last few years, a couple years I've been using the hotspot. And now I'm actually gonna get to do the beta test. I'm not gonna sit there and film me putting it up. It's, I'm just not because you, if you want to see that there's plenty of other ones on there I just want to let you know that it is in North Carolina I'm at the beta test and I was going to show you the box my cat will let me so So this is the box. Yesterday, it was not supposed to come in till today. And yesterday I get home from showing a property, I think. I can't remember. I'm a real estate agent. So I get home right before it starts to rain. And luckily I put the box in 
and I didn't get a chance to open it at all. Nothing. As soon as I put it in, it rained all afternoon, and I'm talking like from two o'clock till dark. Yay. And then I was expecting another, which is this is the mount that goes on the house, and I'll, I'll take a picture of it, but th that's it. I mean, you know, so I got that today. Matter of fact, I wasn't expecting that till tomorrow. And that is Bruce going under my truck. So, like I say, I might just open the box up so you can see what it looks like, but I'm not going to sit there and videotape, video, uh, film me, me putting it up, because the first thing I'm going to do is just set it down, let it go where it goes, and then I'm going to do a uh, speed test on what I have now, and I'm going to do speed test on what this is. Not sure if you can see that or not. That's hard for me to tell. Pretty self-explanatory. You pretty much plug it in, and it's a plug and go. You download the app, which I have, and take the cover off. And that's the way it's packaged. There's your dish, your router box. Everything's already pretty much plugged up. All you've got to do is set it out and plug it in, plug and play, and see how well it does. Well, I run out to the end of my driveway. It's, it's a nice little driveway, but I was going to show you how far away cable internet is and it's not that far well, like i say we, i've got I, we're in a house and it's a house right there beside of us and then chicken houses and other things so so if you can see this is a mailbox here you can see the driveway right over there and then if you can see that house back there that is where cable internet stopped. So it may not even be 10 power poles, which now mind you, we, but we've got a pretty long driveway, but still, if I can ride that way. Trash cans are on each side. Two trash cans are on each side. That's where a cable internet stops for my side. A house there and a house there. All right, I don't know how much you can see. I'm actually coming the other way. Uh, and I got a car behind me, so we'll see. I might just have to go see these moms. So I'll show you how far Sandy's mom is from cable internet, which Sandy actually has, at her mom's house, she has uh, AT&T fixed wireless. It's $50 a month, uh, 200 gigabytes, and it's $10 for uh, 50 gigabytes when you uh, go over, which is actually not bad. It's not a bad signal anyway. So, right up here, I don't know if you see that car in front of me or what. See the sign. Right there is satellite, uh, cable internet, cable. So you see how far I'm going? It may be 10 power poles. And 
right there's her mom's house and that is these they said the same amount ten thousand dollars to run so we in no man's land here so that's it next next plan i'll try to get to where i'll get you the speeds of what i got all right everybody i'm gonna show you the speeds that i'm getting from my hot spot so this is not from Starlink, but this is from my hotspot. So I'm gonna refresh it and it'll take a minute or so. And we'll see what we get. And this is what I've get, been getting most of the time. So 10, nine, nine, so. Let's see if it'll do an upload. I'm not sure if it'll do an upload or not. Yeah, it's doing upload one. And one thing about it, I actually have to move my little hotspot from point A to point B, trying to chase a signal. So, so nine download upload is going to be close to yeah ten eleven. Something like that. 10. Perfect. So, all right. So, I'm going to go up here. And I'm going to switch over to Starlink. And it is connected. Now, I will say, like I say, this is my first day. Uh, Starlink has its ins and outs, so to say. Uh, it will stop periodically. Looking for a satellite, a lot of times it doesn't take maybe 30 seconds. Then it'll get back to normal. And it may last a couple minutes to five minutes to 10 minutes. It just depends. It's actually seemed to be getting a little better. So I'm actually going to show you what Starlink is doing. And I have actually seen it go up to 140. So you can see this is a little better. I think we're supposed to average between 50 and 100. I'll take this all day long. So 73. We'll see what the upload is. The upload hadn't been, upload's been about 10 to 20. And here it made a lot out of me, so it's over 10. So it's 11. Still better than what I have, 8.5. Still better than than the other hotspot. Like I say, the hotspot, I have to chase it. So we'll try it one more time. Like I say, the only thing about it, it will go out on you. So you see, I'm over 100 now, at 100. And we'll see what the upload speed is on this one. 14, 16, 18. That's about the highest I've seen. So I can, you know, I can deal with that. Like I said, it's a whole lot better. I'm sure that it will get better over time. I know I've watched some of the other guys and gals that's had Starlink up north and they they said it okay 9.5 they said that you know the outages get less and less as it goes and i believe that so that's what i've got and like i said that's what i got i hope everybody enjoyed this i will do try to do an update in a few weeks see how things are going uh, like I say, this is the middle of North Carolina. Uh, it didn't take me last of February, March, April, 1st of May. And I'm getting 100 to 150 most times. Actually, they only say you'll get 50 to 100. So I, I like it so far. I, it has its moments where it'll cut off, but then again, it'll, you know, 20, 30 seconds, it's back on. And like I say, I, I couldn't wait. Uh, it's one of those things that will help me out tremendously because 
we don't have, <laughs> well, I showed you earlier today, we don't have the internet speed here. And HughesNet is not it. It exceed is not it. They can say what they want to, but no. They throttle you down quickly, especially at six o'clock. They will throttle you down. And I, both of them do. This one here will actually stop. It's supposed to slow you down, but it will stop when they get to whatever gigabytes you're supposed to get to. So next video I do, I try to do a little more in depth of what I've done, how much I've done. And like you say, it's a hundred dollars a month for the country. It's not bad. I can do anything. I'm sure I can do a zoom with this. So until the next time, that is it. Y'all have a great day.